our Main Street program, has been monitoring the needs of our small businesses as we continue to recover from COVID-19. While the pandemic period may be largely behind us, our businesses are still dealing with the repercussions of ongoing chain supply disruptions and a slowing economy. Not to mention, not to mention, I will agree, that our construction in the downtown has had an impact and a negative impact on our small businesses. As a small business owner myself for over 25 years, I know what the mom and pop economy means to the city of Easton. It is our growth. We don't have the Targets and the Walmarts and the Dick's Sports. What we have is like the Easton Outdoors owned, locally owned and operated. And I, and I mean it from my heart that people need to start, and they are, they're coming back to the downtown. To small businesses are the heartbeat of America. And small businesses are not easy to run. I can tell you it's long hours and little pay. So I'm proposing a three-pronged $500,000 business retention package that City Council will receive in sometime in May as approval. Because it's going to take requirement of some amendments to our ARPA fund, our CARES, and, and we're, going to do, we're, going to, we're going to present it to City Council. And I know, I know that City Council will support this because I know they support small businesses. But we're going to provide marketing support to bring businesses the opportunities and tourism into the city, which we've done with things like the alfresco dining, outdoor dining. We're also going to be offering the second prong is technical assistance to struggling businesses and deliver tailored solutions to the individuals they are facing. And we'll do that with the Small Business Development Council also. And the third thing we'll do is indirect, inject direct funding, direct funding to address their increased cost of operation and support their short-term working capital needs. Now, some of that will be 0% loans, some of it will be grants, whatever that business needs to retain them in, in the business. So under my proposal, the city will invest $30,000 in destination marketing, which will help all of our small businesses. The campaign will highlight the incredible growth that the city has experienced, the positive changes that are taking place, while at the same time inviting people to come to shop, visit, and eat downtown and the surrounding districts to participate in our continuing renaissance. This is not a program just for the downtown. We always talk about our retail center. Our retail center is very important to me. Our retail center is the heart of the downtown, of the heart of the city. But a good heart pumps blood to all the neighborhoods. So this pro program is also for people who are reading the paper or watching it on TV or listening to the radio or seeing it on social media. This program is for you. If you really want to start a new business, call our Economic Development Corporation, our Economic Development Department, and find out how to do it and what to do. We'll help you. But we're going to work with the city, the Greater East Development Department. Now, let me just say something about the Greater East Development Department. GDP, the city wouldn't be where it is today without GDP. Their programs are really helpful to the city. The Ambassador Program, the, small, the, the Main Street Initiative Program, which has been award-winning for eight, 17 years, um, the ambassadors of, of the farmer's market, the public market, and now taking the ambassadors out to the West Ward, and I have a goal this year to make an announcement that we can make, also extend it to the South Side. We're gonna help them with issues related to marketing, business finance, information technology, succession planning, specific legal needs, internet provider. Um, a lot of our successful retailers are more busy on the internet than they are on brick and mortar. We need to prioritize their needs, strategically allocate resources to help them implement positive change. I'm projecting the cost of this program to be about $70,000. Finally, the plan calls for an additional $400,000 to be used for rent assistance grants and short-term working capital loans to help address specific costs of operations adversely impacted by the pandemic and lagging post-pandemic economy. I recognize that a little over $500,000 doesn't go far enough to support our business in these difficult times. But I've instructed the staff of the Department of Community and Economic Development to identify ways we can leverage these resources with the other state and local agencies, like the Small Business Development Corporation. And we are hopeful that we can find additional support to bolster this program. I expect to unveil, unveil this program to City Council sometime in May. You know, when, whenever John and I have come to the mayor and the administration to talk about uh, these resources and this funding. Um, from the moment I, I joined the city, um, it wasn't, okay, we're going to rubber stamp and approve this funding or these resources. And it wasn't just what could this funding do in the short term, um, but really where is this funding and where are these resources going to have an impact in the long term? 
and, and how can we sustain uh, these types of programs. And I think that's that's critical here. We're, we're starting to create a foundation and a framework for these programs to subsist um, over the long term, beyond the pandemic and as we head to kind of more uncertain times. Um, so again, I, I applaud the, the mayor and the administration, um, and, and we look forward to kind of working through, uh, working with uh, GDP, Easton Main Street, and the SBDC um, to really make sure that this funding is equitable, uh, make sure that it's, it's done um, in, in a transparent manner, um, and, and really helps the people who need it most and our businesses that need it most. And, and again, I just want to thank uh, Kim and Jared. Um, you know, the mayor's one man, our department's one department, um, but they really have the on the street knowledge about business owners who, who are really struggling and really need the, the assistance. So uh, I just want to thank all of our stakeholders. Um, Main Street Initiative is part of GDP. We've all been part of conversations over the last few months um, with John Kingsley, the Department of, of Community and Economic Development, to look at the resources um, that that department has at its disposal to help a small business. We recognize that um, pandemic was a very tough period for small businesses. We, we tried to support them as best we could during that two-year period, but there is a malaise and a hangover effect. Um, and as the mayor mentioned, construction was also a challenge this past summer. So there are very specific conversations around um, businesses throughout the city, really, that were impacted by construction, but also specifically businesses on the four, on on Fourth Street around the construction of the garage and also in Center Square. So um, it's been a really collegial, collaborative process. Um, the city has been supportive of bringing funds to help address specific needs that both Kim and I have, have heard in the community and John has heard in the community. Um, GDP is looking also to, as the mayor said, um, leverage and match the city's funds um, by redeploying um, corporate contributions that came in through our Support Easton program. Um, so looking to stretch the dollar as far as possible and trying to support as many businesses as, as, as possible uh, with that three-pronged approach of marketing, technical assistance, and direct assistance to the businesses. Um, happy to be part of this, and I, I think there's more details to come. And, um, you know, I, I applaud the mayor and his team on, on making this happen. Um, you know, things don't always happen exactly as quickly as you want, but this came together relatively quickly, and I hope that we can um, help to deploy the funds as the next few months. So, don't worry. <laughs> thank you, Mayor. Um, and thank you to um, John and Sean through the uh, Department of Community Economic Development, Kim and Jared as well. Um, we're really looking forward to partner with the city on this. Uh, the Small Business Development Center has been around, we're in our 43rd year of helping local businesses. Um, you know, we help them get started, we help them grow, we help them you know, stay here in the area, and that's what the goal of this program is for. Um, you know, the technical assistance piece that we're looking to provide, we're still working on the details, but you know, providing business owners, you know, one of the things that they lack is time. And so you know, working with them on involved projects is really not going to be something that is going to be sustainable because they need action plans to be able to do that. So our team is going to work closely with them using some new tools we've acquired recently to help them develop strategic, actionable items that they can, you know, that they can work with to both run their business and help it grow and sustain to stay here in Easton. And for those area, for those businesses that need a little bit extra help that we can't provide, we're gonna work with local experts here in the city of Easton and the Lehigh Valley to be able to give them that extra support that they need. So very much looking forward to this. So thank you, Mayor. Thank you, John, Sean, and the rest of the team um, for letting us be a part.